Welcome to another episode of Journey Through the Generations. I am so excited to be here. How about you, Trisha? I'm super excited. This episode has been a long time coming. It really has. So uh, if you have n- probably noticed by the title of this episode, we're getting ready for Roots Tech 2023. And we will actually be in person in Salt Lake City in just a couple of weeks. That's right. It, I can't believe it. It's like almost here. It's been, what, two years, three years coming, three years. something like that? 2020 so, was the last time we were there. Yeah, that's wild. And I remember it like it was yesterday. I mean, it doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but that was like our last major genealogy trip before everything happened with COVID. Yeah, and leaving there, I wasn't like feeling like, you know, we weren't going to be back for three years. <laughs> no, not at all. I mean, we was nervous about the virus and everything, but we didn't say, yeah. oh, man, this thing is going <laughs> to be going on for years. No, so, we had no idea. No. Was, we were innocent then. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, we're excited. We're going to talk about some things to get ready for Roots Tech 2023. If you're going, if you're not going, we got information for you. So we're going to go ahead and get started, and I think we're going to start with classes. Let's talk about some of the classes. Well, the thing to remember about Roots Tech is that it is the largest genealogy conference in the world, so therefore they do have the most classes offered in any conference that you're ever going to go to. So anything that you can think of that you would want to learn or do at Roots Tech you'll be able to, whether it's, you know, beginners or if you're advanced, it doesn't matter. There's going to be a class for you. There's going to be DNA classes. There's going to be subjects matter um, organization. There's going to be um, courthouse records, military records, um, methodology, how to get started. Um, And once you've done everything that you think that you can do and you're ready to start writing, there's going to be classes about writing and how to self-publish your writings and things like that. When I say there's so much offered, there's so much offered. There really is. And um, there's like, what, over 300 classes yes. in, within two With, or three days, two mm-hmm. and a half days. The total virtual and in-person is going to be more than 300. Offered. Yeah, that is just wild to me. And just think, I mean, not only are you learning how to research like from the beginning and you find out if you're a beginner, what exactly family history and genealogy is like you get a good foundation. But if you've already been researching and you're ready to start digging deep into your family history, whether you are African-American or Native American or Jewish or German, there's going to be classes for every culture out there as well. Yeah. And the good thing is, is that if you're not able to attend Roots Tech, it is perfectly okay. It is. um, Because um, there is an option for you to attend virtually, which we've all had to do the last two years. That's correct. And so the good thing about classes is that there are some classes that are exclusively for you as a virtual attendee. Correct. Um, so you can still see some of those classes. Mm-hmm. Then there will be um, a group of classes that are in person at Roots Tech that will be streamed online so that uh, virtual attendees will be able um, to watch as well. So Correct. you got a couple of options. And the good thing about virtual is you can come back anytime and watch and it. And watch it, yes. Yeah. And let's just mention that Roots Tech, the tech part of Roots Tech is, you know, very, they're very good at the tech part. So the virtual conference is is really good um the quality of the videos is really good you're going to get the same experience um it's just going to be on your computer yeah let's talk about some of the speakers that'll be teaching these classes um i think amy johnson crow will be teaching a class yes who else? Um, Sunny Morton. Mm-hmm. She's from Family Tree Magazine. Um, Janice Gillard. She's um, one of the um, prom up and coming African American genealogists in the country. Um, Krista Cowan from um, Ancestry. Ancestry. Mm-hmm. That's right. Um, Joshua D. Taylor. A lot of people know him from um, Who Do You Think You Are? He's the, one of the genealogists. Uh, from that oh, okay. TV show, yeah. he's going to have a couple of classes as well. So there's a lot of different uh, people that are going to be there that are experts in different uh, fields. 
Um, so yeah, you should be able to find something, you know, for yourself in the 300 yes. or, or more classes for sure. For sure. Yep. Um, so yeah, check out, I think all the classes are online already. Yes. Virtual classes are online. The actual in-person classes are online. Um, so you can actually browse through them, um, and make your schedule. If you know that you're going to Roots Tech and you have some downtime, I would suggest you go through and look at the classes so you can make, um, a little tentative schedule. So you know what you really want to, um, do because there are 10 sessions in the in-person um, conference that you get to choose from from each hour. So you might want to take a look at those so you can choose what you want to do from those 10 classes each hour throughout the day. Yes, that is definitely a pro tip. You definitely want to um, go through the sessions and mark the ones that you want to go. Yeah, because it could be overwhelming if it you surely can be. just look at it the first day and you see, you know, you, you're really trying to get into DNA and that's when your focus is. There's two or three DNA classes Every session hour. Yeah. So you might want to just look and see which DNA classes fit what you're trying to to learn. Yeah, especially if there's a lot of people there, you know, and everybody's walking around and you're new, you've never been there, you know, you don't know where things are and all that good stuff. And it's also important, too, to, uh, like, take note of what rooms the classes are in because there is a possibility that you would have to walk clear across <laughs> the convention center, which is this is this not is, a small no, convention center. No, it's huge. Um, and that you, was me the first year. Yeah, you can walk. Um, you know, you would have to walk up clear across the convention center. And if there, if it's a class that's like popular, and you want to try to get a seat, you know, early. Another yeah. pro tip: I would tell you to leave your previous class a few minutes early. Try to sit on the end when Mm -hmm. you get there if you can um leave a few minutes early so you can head to that next class and you can get a good seat because i have seen classes you know full oh yeah all the way to where it's just standing room absolutely and so you definitely want to um do that Mm -hmm. and something just came to my mind what's that and i want to say this now so i don't forget (laughs) it Another pro tip. We're going to give y'all some pro We're tips gonna today. We're going to give you some you, tips today. You're going to learn some today. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you do have a hard time walking, you can't walk far distances, or you're disabled, whatever, uh, the convention center, they will rent out the little motorized cars. They sure do. For a fee, of course. Yes, rental. Um, you, so you rent them out, and you can rent them out for the whole week mm-hmm. that you're there. Um, we're a week and a half out from the conference, so they go fast. Yes. So I would suggest that you call or email the convention center, like pause this and go do it right now and right. then come back. Cause, um, you definitely want to get one and they'll have your name on it. When you get there, you check in and get it. And mm-hmm. you, if you're any sort of kind of disabled and can't get around really really well i would suggest that you do that um or you can bring your own bring your own yes yes okay sorry that's kind of off but no i think that's important so yeah yeah that's important so okay go ahead so where were we we were talking about you can have to walk from one class to another make sure so planning give your yeah i mean they give you i think it's 20 or 30 minutes in between each class which sounds like a lot but um if you're going from one end of the convention center to the other. And of course, classes are all getting out at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the hallways are um, a little congested. So you just want to make sure that you are giving yourself enough time to get to the classes. Yeah, and you may have to stop at the restroom Mm -hmm. or maybe you want to stop at the expo booth real quick, which we'll talk about in a minute. You just want to give yourself time, especially for my popular classes. Right. And while we're talking about classes, another thing that I would suggest when you look at the schedule, it'll tell you on there which ones are going to be recorded. Um, that might be if there's a class that you know you want to see, if you there's more than one and one of them is going to be recorded for the virtual audience, then you can watch that at a later time, even if you're an in-person um, participant. So you may want to not go to a recorded class if there's something else that you want to do um, or see 
at that same time yeah. frame. Yeah, that's good information. So uh, let's go ahead and move on to Expo Hall, right? Yes. So but, this is the this is a big deal. Yes, the the bread and butter of the. I mean, it's it's huge. That's where everybody is. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot to do there. There's a lot to see. Yeah. Um, that's where you're going to meet. You know, the people that you use their items, the Roots Magic, the Family Tree Maker, um, things like that. They're going to have booths there. So if you have any questions about any of those things that you use, this would be a great opportunity for you to go up and say, hey, I took an Ancestry DNA test, but this is what happened. Can you help me out with this? There are a lot of Expo booths there. Yes, there are like over 150 or something Yeah, it's a big area. And uh, that you have to try to navigate with a lot of people in it, um, trying to do the same thing. I was going to say, doing the same thing that you want to do. Yep. And so, um, you you know, you might want to uh, do the same thing that you're doing for classes and research who's going to be there, who you want to see for sure. Yeah, it's already up online. And yes, it is. And I would recommend that you do that and you go see them first thing. Yes. Like. As soon as you get there, Mm -hmm. go see those people. And then throughout the rest of the conference week, uh, weekend, then you can, you know, just go see all the other ones casually. My suggestion is that you schedule a block of time, an hour, 30 minutes, how much ever time you can. Maybe there's a, a time block of sessions where you're not really interested in any of the sessions. That's the time that you spend at the expo hall. So you have a dedicated time that you're going to spend in the expo hall for like one hour to be able to really go through everything and walk mm-hmm. around with no stress of, oh, I need to get to this class or, oh, the keynote speaker's about to start. Um, so you can actually really be there and be dedicated to the expo hall yeah be prepared to um take materials away from the expo hall from booths from you'll get you know worksheets you'll get flyers uh you can purchase items you can purchase items from uh, some of these folks Mm -hmm. business cards um be ready to sign up with your information to get you know to get additional information afterwards um, be prepared to, you know, have a conversation with what you're struggling with mm-hmm. and these people can help you. Um, so let's yeah. just, yeah. So the, you know, the DNA, the big DNA people, the ancestries, the, my heritage, the family tree DNA, they'll all be there. Find my past to be there. Roots magic. Like I said earlier, um, family tree magazine, family tree maker, um, Billions of Graves, Legacy Books, Genealogy Banks, just to name a few. So the big name people are going to be there, but there's also going to be some smaller um, vendors there that sell, you know, T-shirts and that have local books um, that, you know, would have genealogy pedigree charts that you can get printed out and things like that. So it's not just the big name people that are going to be there. I haven't, of course, seen the layout of this thing yet, of the expo hall. But I would tell you in the past, they've had um, areas where you can sit down and eat, Mm -hmm. um, rest. Yes. Get off your feet. Yep. If you wanted to. um, In the past, they've actually had a... um, uh, a screen mm-hmm, showing yeah. the keynote speakers yeah. in the expo hall. Don't know if they're doing that again this year, but um, that was always good for people who didn't want to go to the main hall. Right, yeah. Um, or they, you know, didn't get there in time mm-hmm. or it's full and can't find a seat. You can watch it in the expo hall. Um, there, There's also a um, Roots Tech store. Yes. There, um, I found out that the Roots Tech store will be in the front as you enter um, the Expo Hall. Mm-hmm. It used to be in the back, but they're moving it up front. Uh, to me, I feel like the prices are reasonable. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. For sure. I would, and this is what I'll be doing, but I would encourage you to go to the Roots Tech store as soon as you get there. Yes. Um, because the 
most popular stuff sells out sells really out fast, fast. Yeah. and I miss out on my size um, <laughs> shirts yes. that I want all the time. So, um, so yeah, and that Roostek store is also online, mm. so you can order stuff online too. That's right. Yeah, so the expo hall is gonna be busy. It's it, gonna be busy because you know they place. do they do live demos. Um, yep. they do um, like the little um, shorts classes that'll be like 15 minutes Mm -hmm. um long and now like the ancestry and the family search the big ones they'll have like little chairs set up in in their booth that you can actually sit down and they'll have one of their um genealogists or someone that works at ancestry or family search going over particular subject matter for 20 minutes um so you can actually attend a class in the expo hall for like live demo or whatever. Yeah, and we'll be in the expo hall a lot. Um, that's kind of where we'll be um, set up, and we'll you see us walking around and um, talking, you know, with people. Mm-hmm. We're gonna be talking to vendors. We're gonna be talking to you guys as attendees. Uh, so if you see uh, Trisha and I walking around. With a microphone in our hand. <laughs> um, Make sure you stop and say hi. Yeah, stop and say hi, and and we'll uh, ask you a question, and we can put you on the podcast. Yeah, part of the podcast uh, next month. So, um, so okay. So what's next? Um, one of the things that we always do when we go to Roots Tech is go to the Family Search Library. That's right, because it actually is. Maybe you said it right. Actually, yeah. They just changed the name. Yeah, yes. Family Search Library. Yes, um, it's actually. Maybe two blocks from the convention center. Definitely walking distance. Um, it's walking distance. Um, they have extended hours um, during Roots Tech because they know people there are going to research. And I just want to make sure everybody knows the Family Search Library is the biggest library dedicated to family history and genealogy. Their collection is like no other in the country. Crazy. So if you are going to Roots Tech, Please take time, make a dedicated time to go to the family search library while Mm -hmm. you're there. Do not go to Salt Lake City and not attend, not go to the library. And the good thing is, is you can go because of the extended hours. You can go after the Roots Tech day is over. That is correct. So once everything is done, walk down the street, you can go down the street and go and do some research, go get dinner and then come back. Mm -hmm. I think they're staying open till 10. I have to look. I just know that they said that they would have extended hours. I didn't look to see what time yeah, it was. I feel like it was 10. I know when we were there last, I think it was like 11. I think it was, yeah, I think it was 11. I think we were there till 11. Mm-hmm. Like. So they're going to be open late. They're going to be busy. I'm telling you that right now. Um, and they do have volunteers there to help you if you need help. Mm-hmm. Um, they have computer stations. They have just work desk they got mm-hmm. books microfilm everything you can think of you can make copies mm-hmm. i think the copies are free during roots tech i think too. so yeah um don't quote me on that because they may change this you might, year you never <laughs> but, know. um but yeah they have a lot of different things that you can do they just redesigned it Mm-hmm. Um, so I can't wait to see it in person. I'm excited to see it. Um, there's like an international floor. There so is. So if you want to, um, you need to research outside of the U.S. and you can go to the international floor. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, there's a, a lot of different, you know, things. You can bring your own computer. You can use their computer. You can do both. You can do both. I, I did both. Mm-hmm. Um, so... And I would tell you just because we kind of German folks, um, <laughs> <laughs> because we, these are public computers, I would encourage you to bring a small little travel size pack of uh, uh, Lysol wipes or Clorox wipes or something to wipe down the the stuff. The desk and uh, chairs. Um, because a lot of people are using it and yes. we're still within a, the virus And it's season, cold and flu so, season as well. And it's cold and flu so, season. Just so just to be safe, I want everybody to be safe yeah. and stay healthy while we are at Roots Day. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I definitely would also recommend uh, going to the Family uh, Search Library. Um, Trisha and I already have our, um, our topics and parts of our family that we want to research while we're there which i really recommend you, pro- should you probably do the same thing have a, a guide of what you want to research because it can be overwhelming 
because they have everything. Of course, they have all of the state records. They have family record. They have everything. So at least know the family, the branch on your tree or something specific that you want to research. So you're not just bouncing around and you can actually get some dedicated research in um, while you're there. Yep. So, yes, definitely take advantage of that. Um, what else? What's next? Um, what are you looking forward to most? Man, that's a hard question because there's so much. There um, I just think in general, I'm just looking forward to being back just kind of overall in general, mm-hmm. being back at an in-person conference uh, because I'm the the tech in the roots tech and <laughs> in our in our little thing we got going on here. Um, I am the roots. I, I get to, uh, I'm glad to be back in person and, uh, and be able to be around other like-minded people. Mm-hmm. It's all, that's always fun. And we've met so many people. Um, but specifically, I think I'm most excited about, um, meeting a lot of you guys um, Absolutely. and doing some podcasts and an interview. Um, we'll do a YouTube video while we're there. Um, so I'm just looking forward to meeting you, you all out there and, uh, and chatting with you. So I think that's what probably I'm looking forward to most. What about you? I'm looking forward to most something about Roots Tech and being there and being around other people and hearing other people's stories. It always jumpstarts my research. It gets me excited again about what I can do and what's possible. Um, So I'm really looking forward to the classes that I have picked out so far um, because I really want to focus this year on the hose that I have in my tree. So I really think the classes that I picked are going to assist me in finding out information about the people on my tree that I don't know about just yet. And Mm -hmm. I'm super excited about that. Um, I'm also really excited about, like you said, being around other genealogists and being in this environment again, getting to meet you guys. Um, But mostly I'm really excited about learning and, you know, being able to actually focus four days of just genealogy that hasn't happened for me in a long time. Um, so just the fact that I'll be there and I'll be just doing genealogy and family history stuff. That's what I'm super excited about. Yeah. And um, be, because I'm, because there's a lot of genealogy and everything um, that's going on, I'm looking a uh, uh, forward to more of the tech mm-hmm. part of it um it looks like there's going to be some technology driven classes that's happening um so i'm looking forward to that and you know all of the i say all of the a lot of the companies take the time at roots tech to announce their innovation for the year yes. and the things that they're going to be working on things that they're going to be launching um so that's always exciting yeah and there be there will be a forum um there on innovation and tech so mm-hmm. So I'm looking forward to that. Yep. So what else we got? Um, Just the little um, miscellaneous things that we want to just remind you guys of. Um, Of course, the Roots Tech app is available now. Um, You can download it anywhere you download your apps for your phone. And it basically helps you plan your classes. Um, You can make a tentative schedule. You can... Um, have access to the expo hall. It has a map on it. Um, it's just very useful um, if you're going to be there so you know where you need to be next or if you want to maybe change up some things, you can look and see what classes are also available around you if you don't feel like walking all the way across you know, the convention center to what you really wanted to go to, but you want to stay close by, Mm -hmm. you can use the app for things like that. Yep. So definitely download and use the app. That'll be very helpful (laughs) for you while you're there. Um, Yeah, I I think you probably will want to make sure you take advantage of um, the speakers and the professionals and the experts that are going to be there. They are standing in your face, ready to uh, talk to you and work um, with you and whatever it is. Bring your questions, your problems, 
this is the time yeah. because any other time you have to email or go on the <laughs> website or call wait on, the chat. And wait on them yeah you got these people right in front of you and so you definitely want to take advantage of of them being there and get their you know advice and all right. that stuff so. and that goes with the authors the podcasters mm-hmm. um people that you follow on you know social media that have vendors there i mean they're this is the genealogy world we are very you know, approachable because I was able to meet and talk to a lot of the people that I follow um, on social media that I saw there and they, you know, love talking to us and they want to get to know us and know that, you know, we're listening to them, their podcast or we're reading their blogs and things like that. So don't be afraid to go up and talk to people that you see that you follow on social media. Yeah, there's a there's a lot going on and um you know, most of the people would be more than happy to sit down and talk with you or um, whatever. Um, the expo hall, I found out <clears throat> that they will have like a, I don't know if they're going to call it Central Park, but it's a Central Park type of area that will be a meeting area. A, a gathering area somewhere you can sit and relax and chat with friends um you meet new people and maybe new family new cousins or something like that um you definitely will get a chance to do it in that area so mm-hmm. i'm looking forward to seeing that how that turns out yeah you um, mentioned meeting family there's the um relatives at roots tech um, you want to tell them a little bit about that? Yeah, so relatives at Roostech, if you have a family search account and you have um, put your tree um, on family search, your your family tree that you're researching, you can um, sign up for relatives at Roostech. You just go to Roostech. I think you go to Roostech.org. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or the app. Or familysearch.org. Um, mm-hmm. But anyway... You sign up for that, and what the system does is looks through all the the family search trees and <clears throat> compares it to who's going to be at Roots Tech, who's registered, and then it'll give you a list of names that it that's your family. Mm-hmm. You have like um, names on your family tree, and so it'll share that information with you. You can contact them and you can meet up if you're at Roots Tech or if you're virtual, you can send them a message mm-hmm. and y'all can meet up and start working together, finding out more about each other and then being able to, you know, um, go forward in your research right. together. Yeah, it's a really cool um, thing. Yeah, it is. And you so you have to have a family search account and you have to have a family search tree filled out Mm -hmm. in order for it to work Mm -hmm. because I used ancestry for my family tree. I do have a few names on family search, but it's not enough, you know, you know, to, to compare or Mm -hmm. connect with somebody. Yeah. So, um, so I, I probably have cousins there, but I really wouldn't know because my tree is not done on family search. So, uh, so, yeah, you definitely would want to make sure your tree is updated as far as you know um, and sign up. It's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So you can find your cousins. True. You never know. You never know. You just never know. Mm-hmm. So um, I think we're probably getting down to the end. Any tips, other tips or information that you want to share? This is our last podcast before <laughs> before Roots Tech. So um, the only let's thing help that the I people can... out. Yeah, the only thing that I can think of is make sure you take some good walking shoes. Drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated. Mm -hmm. um, And just have fun. I know it can be overwhelming. I feel like I'm going to be a little overwhelmed the first day we get there because I haven't been to a conference in so long. Um, But I just want to make sure that I'm having fun. I'm meeting you guys. I'm meeting new people. Um, I'm getting you know, new information, and I just want it to be fun. Yeah, and and enjoy it. You know, go and visit some of the uh, stores and restaurants and stuff around the convention Mm -hmm. center. Um, I didn't know there's a mall 
uh, across the street, walking distance. Yeah. Um, or I'm not sure if it's a mall, it's a shopping area. It's a shopping center, something but like that. Anyway, um, there's some shopping. I think there's a movie house over there, a movie theater. Um, you know, and there are restaurants and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. Um, go do that. Um, if you're a member of the Latter day Saints, the, I don't know what they call it, the church or the temple, the temple. or that's really pretty it when is. I was walking by. So I'm sure you can go and visit mm-hmm. um, there. Um, yeah, just, you know, have a good time, enjoy the sights. And the uh, convention center is actually um, part of it has been renovated. Mm-hmm. Um, and they just built a, hotel right that connects to the convention center yes so i'm really excited to look to, to see, see that, what it looks like see what it looks like because it'll look different yeah they, they were still they had just started working on it when we were there last. yep they had i'm like just started mm-hmm. um but it's it's done now they worked on it over covid and um and it's up and running what else what, any other tips that you can think of um no <laughs> I feel like I'm going to have some as soon as we stop recording. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of all the things that we did when we were there the last time. Yeah, that's okay. I mean, we do have a, a old, very old uh, podcast and video oh, yeah, we do. of, uh, you know, getting ready for you uh, tips. We share mm-hmm. some tips for um, Roots Tech. So you can go back and watch that on YouTube or you can listen to the podcast. I think I'll put the links to both down in the description box so you can easily find it um so i think we're just going to end it right here we appreciate you guys for listening um if you're going to roots tech we'll be there remember to find us you will probably be walking around with our journey through the generations t-shirts on um and uh i think that's about it i think that's about it okay all right Appreciate you guys for listening. All of our contact information, social media is down in the episode notes of this episode. Y'all take care. Thanks, you guys.